Hey, it's Sandra from Diane Talk Real Talk. So now I'm going to talk about something that um, gets people really riled up, you know, because it's uh, pretty controversial, yet it should not be. Um, here's, here's the topic today. Would you rather have someone cheat on you physically or emotionally? Well, what would, <laughs> what would you say? To me, I'd rather have someone cheat on me physically uh, meaning, you know, you hook up with, uh, the guy hooks up with another girl, another woman, boom, 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 done, and there you go. Not emotional longing or secret texting or calls that... So here's how I know emotional cheating exists. If you can't call me in front of your significant other, your partner, your wife, or your husband then we might have a problem because, or you might have a problem, because that's emotional cheating, right? If you can't freely call because I'm your friend, that's a problem. So this is where it becomes interesting. I think people get caught up in it. They get, oh my God, I don't want that. I mean, they slept together, yeah. But what if they slept together, walked away, and they satisfied the urge, they scratched the itch, and that was it? Uh, they moved on. There's no secret anything happening. It, you know, life does happen that way. I, I, I'm going to be very transparent here. It's happened to me on uh, a few occasions where, um, yeah, it was a hit and run or it was a scratch the itch or it was an urge to merge. Whatever it was, it, it, ser it served the purpose and uh, it was cool. I remember back when I was younger as well, uh, years ago, not that many years ago, but... Um, yeah, it was different, a different time. It wasn't like today where things are so scripted and this and that. And uh, I will tell you, while I was married, before my husband passed away, um, I never once looked at another man that way because I didn't have to and I didn't want to. Um, David was a really cool man. He uh, he scratched all my itches and he uh, he put up with someone who is very different than he was. He was calm and quiet and cool. I'm fuck you, fuck that, get out, da, da 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 that's how it goes, right? I do think that opposites attract, and I do think that's part of the reason why people struggle with the whole concept of, is it better to cheat physically or emotionally? Because sometimes people marry people who are very much, or hook up with people who are very much like themselves, without realizing that if you marry you, Unless you really love yourself all the time, you might want to branch out a little bit and find someone who's not you. I'm not suggesting that people, that it works for people all the time or that this is the case for everyone. But I will tell you this, there is something to be said for having different views and different opinions and different lives. And there's something to be said for respecting the values of marriage and commitment and love and whatever love does not mean to me here's the thing uh, and and i come down to this i don't want to eat steak every day but before i became a vegetarian so say i made sure that i had steak sausage pork chops whatever i needed so that i wouldn't wonder what does it taste like so the urge to merge to me if it's a physical act, it's a physical act and you move on. I, I'm not saying I'd be okay, I'd be happy with it, but I'd be better with it than an emotional involvement or an emotional affair that goes on long after the physical sex has ended. Uh, yeah, it's food for thought. I've had some very great debates uh, with a couple of friends, a couple of girlfriends and a couple of other friends over a couple glasses of wine about this topic because people are very passionate about the answers and the questions and what does it mean. For me, it means this, we're people. We do what we do, we get it on, we get it off, whatever. But at the end of the day, I'd rather have you see someone else naked, get your rocks off and move on than long for someone, wonder what if and never know. The what if can be very, very alluring, very powerful, and can keep someone in enthralled for years. Meanwhile, the I come, you come, let's go, done, done, beautiful. Yeah, I saw you naked, you saw me naked, no big deal. Everybody knows what everybody has. It's just, is yours bigger, are yours droopier, how long is that, how big are those? 
That's basically what it comes down to, people. The urge to merge is real. Life is real. I just find the whole debate about the physical act of sex or the emotional act of sex, which is worse, which is cheating worse, which is cheating one and two, and how do you feel about it? I'm interested in this topic. It's something that has fascinated me for years because I've heard so many different opinions about it. And I have my own opinion, as I just told you. I'd rather you do it, get it on, get it off, and move on. That's me, Diane Talk from Real Talk. I will see you tomorrow. Take care.